Facebook. It is Melissa from the Top Door RV. Hopping on in the evening. I'm never on in the evening, but uh, I was working on this little cutie today and I promised you all that I would come back and we could hang out and play with some woodie bins and do all sorts of things together. So welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you got to see the Dixie Bell live today, you got to see me start this little cutie cabinet right here. I know it's very tiny. We're going to get it whimsical. We're going to add a lot of fun things to it. And I thought, why not just hop back on live and bring you along for the ride? So when you're joining me, tell me where you're joining me from. Let me know you can hear me okay. And we will get started. So let's start with a little recap about what we did today. So today on the Dixie Bell Paint page, which is saved up on my page, and also on um, my, let's see, is this talking to me? There we are. Hi, how are you? Now I can see your comments. <laughs> Yay! Um, today when I was on the Dixie Bell Paint page, we did a little ombre blend, okay? We did aubergine into muscadine wine. We did a little bit of holy guacamole. I did the cutest little stencil. Can you see that stencil on there? Can you see that, Sean? So cute. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? Hi, Sarah. So we have on the second drawer um, some amethyst and some lucky lavender. And on the bottom hiding down here is this peacock and bunker hill. So. This already has all the things. Let's make it crazy. Let's do a lot more and <laughs> do more things to this piece. I know my light's super bright and I get like ADD distracted by the reflection in my eyeglasses. I'll try and keep my head down and not distract myself. I'm my own distraction over here. <laughs> Let's hop in, shall we? The only thing I did since I saw you last on the Dixie Bell paint page was to take a satin clear coat and clear coat these drawers. Why did I clear coat, the, clear coat the drawers? Well, that is because um, I want to start using a little bit of wax on here. I thought we could play with some new chameleon waxes. Have you guys tried these yet? They're fabulous. And in order to do the waxes, they're always last. I knew that if I put the wax on here and did my stripes or my shapes or whatever it is that I'm doing, um, and if I wanted to seal over top, it's, it's always a little more difficult. I want to keep everything true colors. So we're gonna do the waxes over top of the chalk mineral paint that is being sealed in a satin clear coat. Ready? Ready? Good, let's do it. Okay, so we also have wood you bends on the floor. Remember we talked about wood you bend moldings? We're going to stick them on here and somewhere, probably still inside, of course, because I didn't take them out, is my hardware. So this hardware is original to the piece. I think somebody made this little cabinet it's kind of an ugly duckling, but we're making it super cute and fabulous. This is the hardware. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep the same hardware because it's a little fancy pants and, and I like that. But I wanna leave it out so that when I play with the wood you bend moldings and we see where it's gonna go, um, I'm gonna be able to keep kind of an eye where this hardware will be. You know, you don't wanna stick a wood you bend where your holes are or where your other stuff is and then we'll see. FYI, if I'm not seeing your comments, I will, uh, totally put my glasses on later and look, <laughs> but right now, I also can't be distracted by reading comments when I'm doing this, but we'll see. What are you ordering, Yvonne? Are you ordering would you bends? Do it. I love would you bends. Or are you ordering chameleon waxes? Because they're both fabulous things. All right, stop the chattering. Let's focus. So, would you bend moldings, okay, are bendable, stainable moldings. I'm gonna give you all the numbers and all the information of what I'm using. This is wood you bend number 2102. It comes like this on a pack. This is actually a piece of wood and they're all wrapped up. And what happens is when these are not warm, they're flat, okay? See how flat they are? Which means they're solid. So you have to heat them up to get them bendable and malleable around the corners. This little piece of wood is going to help your wood you bends not get broken because sometimes they get broken in transit. No biggie, stick them back together. You can totally glue them back together, it's not a problem. So these are Woodyou Bends number 2102, if you are looking. My thought was to stick them on this drawer, like here and here. So I also want to paint them before I put them on. So let's paint them first, okay? Let's see if we can find some room down here and chat a little bit about painting them with Woodyou Bend, painting the Woodyou Bend moldings with um, some mousse. Okay, so Gemstone Mousse is Dixie Belle's new thing. Okay, comes in these little one ounce containers. This pigment is more highly pigmented than anything else that I have. Here's the, here's the ticket though, here's the kicker. You need to know that you need to stir this. 
if this is not shaken and or stirred, but mostly stirred, because if you shake it, it's not really gonna move any. If you do not stir this around, it's not gonna be moussey. See how thick and moussey it is in there? If you don't do that, what's gonna happen is it's not going to be activated correctly. And when you put it on something, you're gonna have a hard time um, getting it dry. People have been having issues with dry time. So here's the deal. I have not. <laughs> I think because I stir it really well and I use very thin coats. So I'm just gonna hop on here and paint my Would You Bend moldings because I want them gold. Um, I don't wanna paint them after I stick them on because that's just gonna make more work for me, right? So I'm gonna apply it on here. I'm literally taking it off my little makeshift stir stick so I don't waste any. And I'm gonna paint it on. Would You Bend. So I thought you could just all hang out with me on the floor and work tonight. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? Okay, so once you finish painting your woodie bed, you're gonna put them aside, and I'm gonna blast them with my um, heat gun before I put them on here. Blasting them with my heat gun is going to ensure that it is going to be dry when I stick it on here. Is it gonna be dry all the way? No. Will it be dry tomorrow? Yep. But for now, I just wanna get them painted so that I can at least do two drawers tonight with these little guys and show you how they work, okay? So we'll get one painted. The other thing you can do with your you bends and your mousse is to wet your mousse a little bit. Remember I said using thin coats is preferable. Thin coats will dry quicker and thin coats are gonna help you get into all of these little teeny tiny cracks and crevices because these little guys are 3D, right? They're quite, uh, quite thick, the moldings. Some of them are really thick. And if you had this on the piece and you were like jamming your brush on, it's harder to get in. But if you wet it a little bit, it's easier. So here's one Would You Bend molding painted in gemstone mousse. One coat of gemstone mousse. Where's my water? One coat of gemstone mousse is enough to cover this entire little piece. With one coat, you're gonna be um, you're gonna be good to go. You don't. I'm not gonna add another coat. One coat's gonna be enough. Thank you for not wasting the mousse. No, I, I took it off the thing. I can't waste this. This is good stuff. This is liquid gold right here. Liquid gold. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this one aside and we're gonna let it get dry. Okay. So while it is drying over there. I'm gonna put the lid back on my mousse. I think I use mousse more than like any other product. I feel like there's something shiny on everything I do all the time, all the time. Okay, so these ones I painted this morning. Let me show you. I'm rubbing it, I'm rubbing it. It's not coming off. This is dry. This is dry. Would you bends are kind of like I don't know, they really suck in whatever you put on there. So I put that gemstone mousse on this morning and it's already dry. You can rub it, it's not coming off. I know people have issues with their mousse, but I think it's user error 90% of the time because they're not stirring it, number one. The coats are too thick, you need to have a nice thin coat, and they're just not thinking correctly. Like if you're gonna stick mousse on something, why not prep it first with a like-minded color? That might help. I mean, this is light, this color. It's no problem, easy peasy. Okay, too much talky, not enough worky. <laughs> Let's go back over here. Let's do something fun to this drawer. Let's put some chameleon wax on here. What shall we do? You wanna do stripes? Let's stripe it up before we stick on a wood you bend molding, shall we? Take my glasses off because I can see better up here, but not down here. All right, whenever I do taping, and if you watch my video from earlier today, I always start in the middle. This helps me get a even, steven line. And we're gonna fade these stripes out, okay? We're gonna do like faded stripes. I'm gonna mark off my tape and tape off the front of this drawer. Once I have it taped off, I'm gonna show you how I do my Oh, it's not going to tilt anymore. I'm literally afraid of my camera stand. Did you know that? I'm, I'm terrified that it's going to fall over or my camera's going to like fall out. <laughs> scared. I'm always scared to move everything. I just feel like leave it where it is. 
we'll work with what we got. Okay, so taping my lines for my faded chameleon ghost stripes. You guys are going to love these. These are really cool. So on these purple colors, amethyst and lucky lavender, let's use lilac. And I know I say it funny, I'm a weirdo, right? I'm a Canadian, I have a weird Canadian accent. Do you say lilac? Do you say lilac? <laughs> tomato, tomato. I say lilac. And I think that that's over enunciating, but that's the way I say it. <laughs> so there's my accent. I'm not from Minnesota, I'm from Canada. All right, so now I'm gonna lift this up and show you. All I've done is add I literally just ripped off my stripe here. Hold on. All I've done is add tape to my drawer. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up and show you. Okay, here's my stripes. I'm gonna put it back in here so that you can see without me working on the floor. Okay, so lilac, lilac, lilac in the container is kind of pinkish. It's kind of creamy pinkish. See that right there? It's really weird. And you guys, this stuff is kind of stinky. It doesn't smell the best. It doesn't smell horrible. It kind of smells like licorice. I know, smells don't bug me, so it doesn't bother me. But if you feel the need, please use your yielding wax in a well-ventilated area. Um, Dixie Bell paint products, majority of the product, products are um, no VOCs. Not so for this. This is an oil-based product. If you do get bothered by smells, crack a window, you'll be fine. Okay, so let's find a brush. Let's find a brush. Let's use this brush, shall we? With the mousse all over it. Okay, so I've got a regular painter's brush. I know I put more than one down on the floor. I mean, I try and prepare myself for these things. It never happens. So here's lilac. In the container, it looks like creamy, a little bit pink, a little bit. Okay, see it on there? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our drawer. I'm gonna fade these stripes out by the middle. All right, I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna kind of wipe it down. What's gonna happen is you're not gonna see the color as much right now because this is an iridescent wax, okay? Because it's iridescent, iridescent catches the light. So right now it looks like I'm literally doing nothing, but after I'm done and I take off the tape, I'm gonna hold this up and you're gonna see. Okay? This is the other reason why I already clear coated my drawers. So let's just put this wax on here. And remember, I'm gonna fade it out and I'm gonna show you how I fade it out. Baby wipes. These are really cheap. These are like a no-name baby wipe from uh, my local grocery store. So they're nice and wet and smell delicious like a baby, baby's diaper. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in gently and fade that line a little bit. Okay, I'm not taking, oh look, I took a little bit of my paint away, go figure. I'm not taking this off, I'm just gonna bring it down. Now see, accidents happen. My wax reactivated my paint. Now I'm gonna have to fix it. Fix it! Let's stick my fingers in here and fix this. Presto change -o. I fixed it. Watch, we're gonna heat it up really quick and then I'm just gonna put the wax right at the top. This is why live video is fun times. Fun times! all the way down right work smarter not harder I was gonna fade it out but since I already messed it up rather than make it worse let's just bring this wax all the way down 
right? <laughs> Spur the moment. What happens? Let's see. I did clear coat, but I literally just did it before I sat down. And I also painted both of these today. Like this whole thing was painted just a couple hours ago. So the only reason it pulled it off is because I rubbed it with a wet wipe. And I didn't wait 24 hours like you're supposed to for a clear coat to dry. I just hopped right in. So we're working with it, people. Okay, so now my lilac wax is on both sides. It's, it's now going all the way down. It's gonna fade it out. We'll fade it out on the next one. I'll show you how. So now you can see the wax. See that shine? See that iridescent sparkle? Let's watch. I'm gonna peel off my tape. And you're gonna see these fancy pants stripes start to really shine. They look so good. I love this chameleon wax for the faded kind of, let's see if I can catch the light the right way. Ooh, look, can you see that? See how this way they're not that shiny? Super shiny this way. See that? Totally amazing. I love it. I love chameleon wax. I know it's kind of stinky, but it looks so pretty on the front of a piece. Okay, so this is the drawer that I'm gonna put that big giant would you bend on. The one that I just painted in mousse. It's gonna go right, let's see. I can put one here and one there. Should I blast it and heat it up enough and dry it a little bit? Or should we work on the top ones? Let's do the top ones first. So these little guys right here are, would you bend number two, four, three, seven, two, four, three, seven. I've already painted them today. They're already shiny with my beautiful gemstone mousse. Now I have to decide where do I want to put them? Do I want to put them like this? That's kind of cute, right? Like this? Or should I stick them on the sides? I feel like they should be closer. Like I feel like they should be around this handle, kind of like that. Do we like this? Throw me some comments, let me know what you think. I think that they should be like this. Um, because I feel like if they're all the way over here, that's kind of weird, right? They kind of have to be like this. All right, executive decision, I'm doing them like this. So in order to use your would you bend, you need to flip them upside down. You also need to have glue, which they do sell on the Dixie Bell paint page. I like a paintbrush, just kind of mash around on my finger and you're gonna need your heat gun, okay? So right now, solid, right? Solid on the piece. You think that you should go in the middle, like right there? Somebody making me second guess myself now. Like this? You don't think it's better like this? I don't know. In the middle, y'all. I don't know. I'm sticking with my, I'm sticking with my plan. All right, let's heat them up. So what you buy moldy? You take your heat gun, you heat up the back. Not very long because these guys are tiny. The bigger the wood you bend, the longer you have to heat up. And even though it's flat and I'm sticking it on like a flat surface, all of a sudden they go, I was like this, right? Oh God, it's hot. Yeah. So all of a sudden they go from hard to bendy. See how it's bendy now? So the only reason I'm bending it and doing it this way is because no surface is really flat all the way. You kind of want to like just double confirm that your stuff is sticking. So I'm going to take my little finger, mash around the glue. You can use a brush if you want, but I'm messy. And I'm going to turn this towards me so I can see straight on because, you know. So now I'm going to stick it on the piece. Okay, now that it's stuck on there, if you get any extra glue, you can take a little, a little brush and wipe it off. Um, you can use tape if you want and like double stick it just to make sure it's gonna stay there. But it's, it's pretty good. Usually once you stick it on, it's not gonna move. Let me get a little brush and take some of this glue off with a brush. How are we doing, are we hanging in? <laughs> you bored of tears yet? Who do I talk to when I do this myself? Nobody, I sing usually listen to podcasts <laughs> something annoying all right let's turn the other one around and heat them up too okay 
and then we'll stick them up there. And you can see exactly how this woody bed looks. FYI, don't use a heat gun too close to your paintbrushes, because you will melt your paintbrushes. Ask me how I know. Ask me. <laughs> also, would you bend smell for some reason to me like fresh cut lumber? And I totally dig that smell. I really like it. I don't know why. Totally a big weirdo and like the smell. All right, I'm going to take my tape off so that I can see what's happening here because I want them to be even Steven. I'm just going to push it on here. Now, once I get these both on here, I'm going to heat them up again. Once I'm heating them up again, it's just double checking. That's my insurance that my wood you bed is sticking to my piece the way that I want it to. I think I might come in here too with um, wax. All right, let's heat it up one more time. That's the rule. Put it on, heat it up again. Helping your glue and ensuring that it's flat to the surface. Voila! What do we think of that cuteness? So cute, right? Can you see? Adorable. So cute. So now all of a sudden this boring little cabinet's starting to get some life. Let's see if we can dry this big one over here and stick it on the next drawer. Put my glasses on. Read some comments, see what everybody's saying. How's everybody hanging in today? It was kind of a crazy day. It was uh, crazy all around, I think. Okay, I'm just going to check in. The only reason I'm heating this up is because I just painted it with the gemstone mousse and I don't want to have it tacky to my touch. Hi, Rima. How are you? Okay, now I'm going to flip over this Fancy Pants Would You Bend. It's number 2102. And I'm going to heat up the back and we're gonna stick it on this drawer. And remember, there's gonna be two of them, but I only painted one, just for the sake of um, time. You all don't wanna sit on the floor and watch me paint, paint uh, gemstone mousse on everything, right? We got things to do over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my finger, making sure there's glue on all of you bend. It's not a terrible excessive amount of glue. See, you're just wanting to make sure that you hit all your corners, right? This is wood, so it's going to like shape itself to the whole front of the piece. Okay, let's see. Which corner do we want to stick it on? I'm saying it's going to go right here. Okay, I'm going to push the drawer in all the way just so I can see exactly how it's going to sit flat. Like I told you before, this, um, this little cabinet is a handmade cabinet. So I don't know if it's really truly flat or not. I'm just gonna hold it there for a minute. And now I'm gonna glue it again, or glue it again, heat it again. So after my gilding wax that I just put on here, this uh, chameleon wax and lilac, after it dries, which will be by tomorrow morning probably, I'm gonna come in with my black wax and wax all of these woody bits. I don't want to do it tonight, number one, because I just did this gemstone mousse right now. Like you guys saw me paint it. It needs a little bit of time to cure and get hard. Also because this chameleon wax needs to cure as well. It will dry. Chameleon wax does not need to be sealed over top. It will uh, be fine on its own. But what do you think? Is it looking cute? It's looking so cute, right? Look at this little cabinet. Okay, so I have two more for the bottom. But before we do that, should we do stripes too? I don't know. Let's see. I'm just gonna tilt it up here and have a look. I can really see that chameleon wax in the light. I don't know if it's translating very well onto your, you know, view, but it's super cute. So cute. Look at that would you bend. Isn't that adorable? Looks really good, right? I think it's really cute. You like it? Yeah, see, you know what though, Yvonne, you're a little biased. 
because you usually like the stuff that I like. <laughs> we like similar things. <laughs> I know you. I know that you like the same stuff. You like the purples. You like the brights. You like it when they get crazy in here. But let's do, you know what? Let's wait on this drawer. Let's do some faded gold stripes on the side and see how that works. How about that? All right, so we have the aubergine and the muscadine wine. Let's do some gold, shall we? I know I have gold here somewhere. Cactus, lilac, copper, silver, bronze. Come on, there it is, it's gold. All right, we have the gold. So let's do some stripes on the side. Remember the top of this piece is gonna be painted black and white stripes. Um, I could throw some really pretty I don't know, gold leaf on there if I want to. You never know. You never know. <laughs> I see you. I see you well. Okay, so let's do some stripes. So this little ugly duckly cabinet is now taking on like a new persona, right? It's not so ugly anymore. Now it's kind of got like a new lease on life. I don't know why, but I, I do like my stripes coming from the top down. You get into a habit, I think, sometimes, in the way that you do things. Um, I always do my ombre dark on the bottom. Up. It's just the way that I do these things. So what else is going on? Hope everybody's staying healthy. I should have got wider tape. I'm going to show you why I like gilding wax for stripes. It's like I'm going to need one more piece of tape. Okay. So, I like the gilding wax for stripes because you can kind of fade them out and it's going to be a lot easier to see. I tried to show you with Canadian wax and we had that boo-boo. So we'll move on and make it happen in another way. So I have another little craft store brush down here. Um, makeup brushes are great for this too. I really like makeup brushes for gilding wax because they kind of fade stuff out. Do, 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 do. I'm using the same pole, all three, all three. I'll have enough room because it's just like a little hangy doodad, watch. It fits. And then the other one's gonna come up here too. So it's gonna kind of be sandwiched in. And I'm gonna spray paint these um, bright gold. I might even come in with some trim. Some would you bend trim around the top. Because this cabinet's pretty square, like pretty, you know, it doesn't really have like a, a shape to it, which is why I wanted to stick a bunch of would you bends on here. Because I feel like it's a little boring. Just a bit. Alright, let's play with some gold. So this, again, is the Gilding Wax by Dixie Bell. Pushing my tape down. It's kind of stinky, remember? It's an oil-based product. It's not, uh, it's not no VOC, it has, it has an oil base, which means it's kind of smells. So this little brush is just a craft store brush. I don't know why it's missing its top. It is. And I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna kind of take a, like, a little bit off. I like to keep a paper towel because I don't want my gilding wax to be like super strong. Although I do want it strong at the top, so maybe I'll just start at the top and we'll show you how this works. Push your tape down. Remember, I already sealed this with a satin clear coat. Let's get up in the top. See how much easier it is to show you this with gold? I should start with gold. Chameleon wax is beautiful, but it's hard to see unless you're like in a fancy pants light, like the sun. Okay. This is so highly pigmented. I'm gonna bring it down a certain amount, and then we're gonna fade it out. Should I go like long? Maybe I'm gonna go long. Let's bring it down further. This is 
Chicago. I make stuff up as I go along. I just do. There's no rhyme or reason to this cabinet. The only reason I started it today is because it was small enough for me to pick up by myself and bring it in. I couldn't pick up the other stuff, but it was so much too big. Okay, so now that I've kind of got this heavy gold, I'm going to start to fade it down a little bit. Just lightening my hand until it just like fades out. If you get too much on one spot, a wet wipe does take some of it back. But it, it is a oil-based product, so the water doesn't really pull it off a ton. Like it's never going to disappear. You could use mineral spirits if you made a mistake and you wanted to take some off. But I just want to kind of lighten it down here. It's a light faded hand. tip it so you can see. See that shine? Crazy amount of shine. Super duper amount of shine. Listen to the comments. Let's see. Do do do. <laughs> Ease of hand. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I legit have like five more big things that I could have started today. Um, but my little girl arms could not drag it in the house. It's not going to happen. Okay, so now you see how to use this little craft store brush on top of the musket arm line and drag down. Let's pull this tape off and show you what it looks like. Because I sealed this already with my clear coat, there's no need to seal it again. It'll be fine because the gilding wax will cure on its own. Isn't that satisfying? Pulling tape off. Ooh. <laughs> I should have made a TikTok. People like this stuff. Are you following me on TikTok? I'm having a lot of fun over there. You guys should come over to TikTok and uh, check it out because I'm having a ball on some TikTok. There's no dancing. There's, there's really none of me. It's just all painting and crazy things like pulling tape off. People dig it. <laughs> People really like it. Let's tip it so that you can see this shine. Gold gilding wax on this little piece. See that? Look at how shiny that is. That is like the most reflective but beautiful faded out gilding wax. That's going to dry here overnight. Can you see how beautiful that is? Isn't that nice? That is going to go the same on the other side. The top I'm going to stripe in black and white and um, it's going to be fun, but how pretty, right? So pretty. Really, really nice. It's um, the pigment. The pigment in these gilding waxes is really strong. It's really, really gold. I mean, you can't really get that kind of shine from the old gilding wax. Look at it. It's like on fire. Fire. All right. So now we're done. Let's see. Stripes here in the lilac. We stuck this little guy on. I have the other one to paint and stick on. I have the gold. You guys want to do a little bit of um, shading? Look at how dry that is. Okay, so here's an experiment for the mousse. I did this mousse this morning, probably around lunchtime, um, in order to prepare it for my live at three. So if I painted it just before lunch, it's been heated up with a heat gun and it's stuck on here. Let's see if any of the mousse comes off, shall we? Because it's not coming off of my finger. It's really a porous material that would you bend? And let's put it to the test. Everybody always has questions about this stuff. And I feel like, how do you know unless you try it? I wish I would have washed this brush though. Do I have another one that's not as dirty? This is my wax brush. Yeah, this one's cleaner. Let's do this one. <laughs> so this is my French tip. It's a natural bristle brush. And this is black wax. Okay. Let's accent some of the events, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna put the wax. I like to dirty up the edges of things. 
you could use wax, you could use um, earth, dixie dirt, you could do that too. I'm missing your comments, y'all. I'm sorry, I totally will come back and answer them later. Oh, you like that gold on the muscadine wine? Listen, anything looks good on muscadine wine. Muscadine wine is like an unused, fancy color. I, I, I don't know why more people don't use it. Okay, so these baby wipes are helping me pull my wax back just a bit, getting it where I want it to live. I don't want it too dark. I just want to dirty it up some. I don't like my um, I don't like my pieces to look too clean. I don't know why. But I have this affinity with dirt, <laughs> but I do. I like to dirty it up. Okay, so we've got a little wax there. Put a little bit more down here. I don't want to mess around too much with this community wax yet because it won't be dry yet. I just did it. But this is dry enough from today's live because this was Moonshine Metallics. Also, I don't know why holy guacamole it just looks better. A little dirty. It just does. Maybe it takes some of that um, newness off of the color. It's just better for me. You could also use glaze if you like to glaze better. All right, it's experiment time. Let's take my brush. So you're supposed to let mousse sit for 24 hours. This has not been 24 hours. This has been half a day. Let's check it out. I do have a little bit of white glue on there. Let's add some black wax around it and wipe it back. I'll be the guinea pig. Shall we? Shall we play? Y'all know I'm not afraid of making a mistake. We learn from our mistakes. Okay, so there's no gold on my brush. It didn't come off. Let's wipe it back. See what happens. Isn't it better dirty? It just looks so much better. I don't know why. This is wet. This little napkin is a baby wipe. So I'm just removing it from the edges first. Now let's take it off. I see no gold on my wipe. There you go. There is no gold from the gemstone mousse on my wipe, which is wet. And I did not let this cure for 24 hours yet. This is less than, and I'm still okay. It's not on there, y'all. So here's the deal. When people think that they have a, a bunch of issues with mousse, I really think a lot of the time it is too thick and not stirred. I'm playing devil's advocate here, but this is, uh, this is what I see. Let me bring this closer to you. So now I've got this black wax over top of the Woody Bend moldings that were painted in gold. I can see a little bit of glue that I probably want to take off. A little bit of glue mark right there. So I glued these on, you saw me put them on, but I just painted this mousse on today before lunch and it was dry enough for me to wipe with nothing coming off. So what do you think? Pretty cute, right? Look at that shine. Look at that stencil. That silk screen stencil is so cute. It's really a pretty, pretty stencil. It's very art deco. Vision accomplished. All of a sudden that boring little drawer ain't so much boring anymore, huh? Now it's looking like, now it's looking very Mad Hatter, which is totally me, totally. Okay, so now what should we do? Stripe off the bottom drawer and do a little bit of um, chameleon wax in, let's see, let's see, let's see, cactus, you want to? Or should we do gold? Does this need gold down here? Let me push you back some. Tell me, should the bottom drawer be gold? because this is gold and there's gold up here for balance. I'm 
I'm kind of thinking yes. I was gonna do cactus, which is like a, a green wax, but I don't think it's gonna be bright enough. I think it needs to have a, a, a match. No gold, Remus says no gold. Mmm, and Rima's an artist, she knows her stuff. I'm digging the black wax or at least what you guys. This is like my new jam, by the way. I've been doing this a lot. Shannon's saying, yes, I have gold. Well, let's open up the would you beds that I'm gonna be putting on there on the bottom and see. They're not painted. This is would you bed number 1338. Yikes! 1338. Okay, so these are two. Ooh, I'll probably do that to match the top. So these will be gold. Do, do, do. Can I mix the cactus and gold? I sure can. I don't know how bold it would be because one's iridescent and one's highly gold pigment. Uh, I did see Brandy makes the other day beautiful gold and um, silver to make champagne and it looked super nice. It looked super nice. But this is going to go here in gold. Yo, what do I do? What do I do? You know I want to make it gold because I like over the top everything. But then again I could stripe this bottom piece too and make the stripes down here. Maybe I won't do any stripes. <laughs> Leave it like it is. <laughs> Y'all aren't helping. You are not helping. This is already getting dry, this chameleon wax. I can see it. It really hardens up well. So once it's dry and I put that other would you bend on here, because remember this one's gonna go, how's this one gonna go? That one goes like that. Uh-oh, did I do it the wrong way? Maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe this one will go over here, and then this one will go up here. Shouldn't that fit the other way in the corners? I guess it should have been the other way. Again, wah, wah, wah. Let's see, so I'm gonna put one down there then. Maybe I'll just do that. I mean, I could always take it off. You know you can always take off would you bends. All you gotta do is heat them up and you can take them off. But then I'm gonna add glue and that's gonna be more work for me. Do I want more work? Probably not. Let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's kind of cute. I do not know, I do not know. Decisions, decisions. Well, let's do the stripes on the other side and then um, we'll be done. How does that sound? I'll come back and play with it tomorrow because I do have to paint all of these gold and they have to get dry. You know me rushing things and I'm taking too much time to do that. But this is fabu. I'm absolutely loving that. I might even add some more gold on top of there. Where's my gold? Look at that. Yep, all the corners are going to have gold for sure. Maybe I do diamonds on the bottom drawer. I don't know. Maybe not even do the small ones. You know, you could go anyway. <laughs> but I did not know when I was laying these out today. I think I had one here and then the other one the other way. No, I had this one here and that one there. So I don't know. In my head it worked and then it didn't work tonight. So I can always just put this one down here and they can be one and the other. I can always stick these on the, on the sides as well. They don't have to stay on the front. I can always add them onto the sides. I think they're too big for down here though. Oh no, they're not. They would fit down here. I can even put them in the base. You never know. You think diamonds? I love diamonds. Diamonds are fun. Maybe I'll go get the... You know what? You you fixed me. You gave me my decision. Should I do diamonds on the bottom drawer? And then use gold? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to get the stencil. Give me one minute. I know where it is. I just cleaned. I'll get it.
couple new stencils um, in the past couple months. They released a beautiful Moroccan. Uh, they released a gorgeous kind of a Frenchy damask. And they also did a hound's tooth. What they did not release, which is my favorite, is diamonds. Um, and the reason I love diamonds is because diamonds and that had her go like peanut butter and jelly, y'all. Peanut butter and jelly. So let's do diamonds with this stencil that is not released, but that's okay, right? <laughs> it's not released yet. But maybe soon, maybe someday. It was, it was a demo, but I love it. It's just pretty diamonds. So I'm going to lay it down on top of my blue. Who suggested this? You're so smart. And I'm going to get out my gold wax. You can spray back your stencils if you're worried about it moving, but here's the deal. I don't use um, paint a lot when I do these. I use wax, which is a lot softer. Sorry, I'm just looking for my paper towel that I'm sitting on somewhere. I just don't like a ton of wax on the brush. So, let's do it. When I do wax on my stencils, I always kind of do the edges a bit darker and fade them to a center. So I'm going to start on the edges and just start to fade my diamonds. Thank you for whoever suggested this. I'm going to go back in and watch. You're smarty pants. You, uh, you made the right call. So I'm just taking my brush with my gold gilling wax and I'm depositing the heaviest color on the edges of the stencil. After I get a little bit off of this brush, I used to have a makeup brush that was like dog eaten and fabulous and I've, it finally just died. Like I, I don't have it anymore. But it was the most best wax brush because it was just so faded. So I haven't even re-dipped this yet. I'm literally just putting it on. Give me a few minutes and I'm going to show you what I did. Why didn't I think of diamonds? Smart. So I'm just fading this wax into the spots. So the diamonds are going to be very faded. I don't like a perfect stencil. Okay, now I'm going to dip back in. Um, and I don't like a sharp edge. So the move after you've laid it out. Okay, let me double check that I did my own squares here. Ready? Oh, it looks so good. Dun, dun, dun. I'm putting my glasses on so I can see your comments and hearts. <laughs> okay, so now I've peeled off my stencil. with a cutest little stencil, a little Harlequin stencil. It's not released, I apologize, but I think maybe next issue, next release, they might have something similar. This was a demo. And what do you think? Who suggested this? You get a thumbs up from me. The diamonds, you, you win the prize of the day because that was the best idea. How cool is that? That looks so good. That looks so good. Thank you for your help. You solved my issue. Now, when I put that shiny would you bend on, I, st I still might take that off because this is backwards. I, I definitely wanted two on here. I didn't really think about the planning when I picked them up and started working. 
I guess I could do this one this way. Can I do it that way? Sure I can, I can do it this way. It's not exactly the way I wanted it, but that's fine. And now I can do the little ones on here if I want it, just up in the corners. But this will be nice. I'll paint these tonight, leave them sit tight, and they will be ready tomorrow and I'll stick them on. So let me give you a quick little recap. Quick little recap of this cutie little, cutie patootie piece. Today on the Mixie Bell Paint Cage, I did a muscadine wine and a beautiful aubergine. Then I came up and did holy guacamole in the drawer. I used the new patterns stencil, silk screen stencil on this piece in Moonshine Metallics. So that's Holy Guacamole Moonshine Metallics. I came in and added some Woodgy Bends today, right? We played with some Woodgy Bends. So let me go over the numbers in case you're looking to order. These are all Dixie Bell exclusive Woodgy Bends. These big giant ones in the middle are Woodgy Bends number 2102. The Woodgy Bend on the top, I believe, is 2437. And the little one that I'm gonna be putting on the bottom is 1338. All of these are available on the Dixie Bell paint page. Um, I did amethyst and aubergine and lucky lavender and peacock and bunker hill blue. Um, I used a stencil and did this cutie little, look at those diamonds, so cute, so cute. Let's see, more faded in the drawer to match the second drawer. This one, I know, but you know what? Sometimes when I'm doing something live, I have to go with the flow. I have to go with what I got. I actually think dark purple might be better, but I think you'll notice that when I put that other wood you bend on there, it's gonna be It'll be better, it'll balance out. I taught you how to do these beautiful faded gold stripes on the side. So this is gilding wax. I also use chameleon wax in the front, but as always, you guys, send me a message. If anybody has any questions about anything that I'm doing, um, a technique or a color or, you know, links back to another video, like if you think, oh, I, I missed how you did that, can you show me? I'm always happy to help. You know, my job is here you know, as a brand ambassador is to help you. I'm here to help you learn, I'm here to teach you, we work together, we make mistakes, I make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes, um, and we learn it as we go along because nobody does it perfect. There is no perfect in art, there's no perfect in painting. <laughs> painting is made to be enjoyed, change it up, and be bold with your color. But send me a message whenever you like, I'm always available to help. Um, I also run a private social media training group for any of you if you are painters. Um, I do have a private group on Facebook that is a paid monthly subscription where I will help teach you all about social media, all of the things to help you grow your numbers and make money in your small creative business. Uh, I have students that are applying the skills that I'm teaching them and having very, very good luck. They're seeing huge growth, big numbers, and they are quite happy. So if you need a link to that, I do have a, a little bit about that on my blog. But yeah, I'm going to sit on the floor and keep playing with paint. And I hope that you guys will always come and join me. And we'll make space mistakes as we go along, but most of the times it's pretty darn cool. You get your little favorite part and you just roll with it. Thank you for whoever suggested diamonds. You're the bomb.com. You're my new favorite today. You win the prize for, for biggest fan because that was a great idea. I love it. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's see. Are you leaving it as it is? I'm going to stop for tonight. My kiddo's uh, up and she's studying. I'm gonna finish these little guys tonight. I'm just gonna paint them and leave them on the floor and I'll stick the rest on tomorrow. Then I'm gonna come in and add some more black wax and I'll just finish the top with some stripes, some plain stripes, right? Totally from trash till treasure. This is a very boring plain Jane piece that now has a new lease on life. All right, everybody, stay kind, be kind, and uh, I will see you later on the week, I'm sure. Take care, bye.